welcome back to my channel roses star and books and today i'm here with an april wrap-up video um april in terms of reading was sort of a good month i guess you know i read a decent amount of books but in terms of life in general it was kind of rough because like I had to fight to finish up classes and finish up my portfolio for school and like the last like the last few days I've just been sleeping because I was so tired. Plus I had to do things for my organization that I'm a part of because I'm the PRO, so there are certain responsibilities that I have. I it was just all over the place, like <sighs> But now that like I am done with school or classes for now, I might sign up for the next program when like August come around and hopefully that would be most likely be psychology because I already have my associate's degree in psychology and I need to get my bachelor's degree and then probably my master's because within psychology you need to study like you need to have like at least a master's degree to start working in the field especially according to what you want to do so yeah so I'm not looking forward to school to be honest I'm already tired like I've slept for three days and I'm still tired but yes let us get into my April wrap up if I ever finish a book today it will be clara and the sun because i'm currently reading that and the live stream show for the book club top bookshelf is today in like a few hours so if i ever finish like a book today it will be that but all for now these are the books that i've finished for in the month of April it is 26 books I wouldn't go in details about these books because um, a lot of them I don't remember a lot about them so yeah so the first book I have on my list is The Spy Who Raised Me which I gave three stars this one was like um, an arc that I received it was decent it was a decent graphic novel this one was by ted anderson and gianna meliola i'm not good with names y'all i'm not good with names the second book is a house divided which is a next graphic novel which i gave four star by heiko herring heroning I'm just butchering everyone's name like sorry third book a next arc <coughs> a next arc which is the quarterback sat by love which I give three stars by Rajin Radocha I will give a little touch about this one this one was it was okay it was good um, I would have like loved it to be a little bit longer because it was like a short book like a hundred and something pages but it was good for what it was and I'm starting to like be more of a strict a little strict um, in terms of my reviews now like I, I was just going around giving four stars and five stars to any and any book and now like I'm trying to cut back on that because you know some of them didn't really deserve that five or that four star review but it is what it is you know um then why she wrote by Lauren Burke which I gave four stars. This one is a graphic novel, but it's like about past writers, all female. So it's kind of like a history buff kind of book. So you have all these writers, um, how they develop their story and all of that. This was an arc that I received as well, which I think it's a very important book and I would definitely recommend this you know yeah I think I think people who 
who wants to learn about writers in history should definitely read this. Um, then I read A Sign of Affection, Volume 1 by Sue Marshita, which I gave 5 stars. This one, I loved it because this one was a disability representation. The main character, the girl, was um, deaf. So she would like, she can't hear that properly, even though like she has like a hearing aid, like the only thing that she hears is like, she hears a bunch of sounds from the hearing aid, but she's not sure where they're coming from, or like she can't make out no specific words or anything like that. And I and then she met this um guy, I was very cute. I need to talk about it on my disability representation um this book ability channel instead of on here so yeah then i read rave master volume 4 by hiro mashima watch how i pronounce this word so easily and i give it five star as usual like i just love his books like i continue i uh, i'm continuing the series of rave master and fairy tale i just love those two series by him then i read the vein by elliot rahal emily person fred esther singh which i gave five star i really love this even though like majority of people who read this didn't love this but i loved it um it was like a vampire story and it was told in the past like 19 something and stuff like that but i really enjoyed that so then i read devil's line volume one by rio hanada which i gave five star this one is something that i discovered on um comiXology which is like a subscription and app by um amazon and i discovered this and i was like when i started to read it i was like why did it take me so long to discover you like this is like great like it's like it was so good but um i did read volume two which i also gave um five stars so no need to talk about that one again i read it this month so um then i read black the complete series by tl smith which I gave four stars. Black is sort of like a dark romance erotic book, I would say. Um, it's just all over the place. Like when I first read like the first book in the series, I fell in love with the character Black, and also um the the lady, but. I mostly fell in character with love in the character black. Like I don't even know like the the lady's name now. But I know like in the second book he called her Rose because he lost his memory and whatever whatever and called her Rose. And that is what I remember from her name, but her real name is not Rose. And his real name is not black, so but I enjoyed that anyway, so yeah. Let's continue. Then I read Else the New Girl by Kate Toussaint and Evelyn Stoffarts, which I gave four star. I really love this because this was like um about mental health in a sense and also like kind of like an adoption story but we're gonna find out more about the adoption thing i think i'm not too sure if it was adoption but i think it is we're gonna learn about that aspect in the next book and i can't wait for it to come out this one was um also an arc um basically the main character had like multiple personalities and sometimes he well most times 
I think it's triggered by stress and stuff like that and pressure because like when she's under pressure she just burst into multiple personalities so yeah it was very nice graphic novel I love the art style too then 12 the 12th book is for the 13th book because I already talked about Devil's Slime Volume 2 um, is One Line by Ray Fox and which I gave 4 star um, this one I haven't this one is an arc which I haven't reviewed on my page yet but this arc the this graphic novel it is the writing is so poetic and um the art style is like this ancient sort of drawing like no really no like fully dimensioned drawings but like mostly like flat um like you know like back in the days when people would draw on stones and stuff they would just draw this you know little character things but no real no real dimension and depth to it yet yeah, that's how it was and like i enjoyed the writing i enjoyed the art style as well so then i read forget me not by alex garin which i gave five star which i already talked about in a past video but i cannot stress enough how much i loved this book this book oh like i this is a graphic novel that i would read again then i reread the babysitter's coven which i gave five star by kate williams and the reason why i reread this is because i want to read her second book which i also received last year as an arc and i haven't reviewed it yet which i feel bad for about but i wanted to reread the first book in order to like know what i'm about in the second book so then i read spellbreaker and spellmaker spellmaker was um an arc so yeah i read spellbreaker and spellmaker by charlie and Holmberg, which i both gave four stars this one is magic that's all i gotta say it's all about magic and there is a little romance going on in book two and it's so cute so yeah um then i read a kiss for real volume one this one i give it five star but i really think that i should have given it like three or four star hmm but I gave it five star for now and um I can't even remember what it was about. Oh yes, I remember what it was about. It was this girl, like she when she was younger, she used to get bullied based on how she dressed and whatever and whatever. So like she tried to change herself and be the perfect person that everybody would look up to and everything like that. And then she met this boy who sees right through her and it's like, like, boo-boo, stop pretending. And then she found something that she loved to do for her, which is um art. And she, saw, she started this art class because the boy is in the art class. But she realized that she really loves doing art and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it's going good so far. Um, The reason why the title i think is a kiss for real is because he kissed her like kind of in the beginning and then she tried to kiss him kind of like coming on to the end and he rejected her and it's like mm, is this gonna be about love or not but yeah but then i read dearly by margaret atwood which i get four star the poetry oh my god it was so beautiful it wasn't the best for me but it was very 
the writing was beautiful so yeah then i read the underfoot volume one and volume two by ben fisher which both i gave four star all i have to say about this one is that it's about um warrior hamsters and apparently there are a lot of breeds of hamsters which i never knew because i've never been into hamsters so but i know them now so yeah then i read to drink coffee with a ghost by amanda lovelace which i gave four stars um most of her books that i've read i've probably gave like three stars but i love this one more like this one is probably like one of my favorites by her now like i love this one more because like this one the rest of her books is more like well, that i've read is more of um just kind of like you could say confident boosters in a way i guess but it didn't really have that much emotion and depth to it for me so like i i just gave them three stars but this one this one was more emotional and had like depth because she was talking about um her mom and what her mom did and then when her mom died and how she felt and all of that and then she met um her husband and stuff like that like it was so beautiful like i really enjoyed this one like i really think this is one of my favorites from her unless like I, i'm gonna because the first book to this series that she has i haven't read it yet i read the second book which i didn't realize but i have to go back and read the first one and see like between the two which one i love the most but so far i love this one um then i read heartstopper which was a reread volume one great as usual i can't wait for the other book other volume to come out but yeah then i reread red white and royal blue by cassie mckinston five star of course this is my favorite book of all time one of my favorite book of all time so like every year i'm gonna be rereading this that's how much i love it and i can't wait for her next book which i already pre-ordered I pre-ordered the um, audio book. I can't pre-order the physical book because like to ship down to my country will cost so much. So when I go back to the US, I'll buy it. Buy the physical copy. So yeah. Then I read I Left the House Today by Cassandra Colin, I think, which I gave five star. I read that this one last night. And I love it because, like, I'm, it was so relatable and so funny, like, and then, like, I saw that the person put that the astrolog astrology sign is, like, Scorpio, and I was like, oh my god, same. So, it was so, it was nice, it was funny, it was sweet and relatable to me. Then, today, a while ago, I finished Read Waves by Ingrid Chabert and Carl Morrill, which I gave five stars. Uh, this one was an emotional one because essentially it was about this couple. Um, they're, um, I want to say a lesbian couple, but I don't know the orientate the sexual orientation like not sexual orientation or their sexuality per se because sometimes they could be bisexual or a thing but if they were two girls together so let's just say that i don't know there were two girls together and they were trying to have a child but in the past none of what they've tried have been successful the, the person that has to 
carry the child he hasn't he wasn't successful and then finally one of the doctors finally say well yeah you're getting through now you know because like yeah and then she was pregnant and then there was a lot of bleeding and she lost a child a boy and then like yes it was basic and then she got back up on her feet again but i really love this because it was emotional and deep and also like i feel like a lot of women go through this and i think that a lot of women would be able to relate to that and what i loved about the graphic novel is a graphic novel um is that when she in the beginning the book was in color and then like the process of her losing her child and stuff like that it went to black and white and then slowly you see that the person the the author with the straighter added back color into the book slowly and until it was full-blown color again and i really liked that demonstration and also like i liked the in between um how to say like her dreams kind of like where she would be like be like in the sea in the waves and she fell off the boat and she was drowning and then when she was like um putting herself back together from that loss of her child she um she basically saved herself and jumped back in the boat so i i really loved everything how they used the artwork to demonstrate the emotion as well so yeah very beautiful definitely recommend that one so i know i said i wouldn't have gone into details about this book but i have so um thank you for watching Thank you for listening to me rant and yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs>